I'm going to tell you about my best friend, Chris. Well, actually, we aren't in close contact anymore, but he still means a lot to me. We were in the same kindergarten class, so we first hit it off then. As soon as I walked into the classroom nervously on the first day, I felt drawn to him. He invited me to, to sit next to him and complimented me on my 100 Dalmatians backpack. Since that initial moment, we sat together in that learning circle every day. We soon started having regular play dates. He would always share his toys with me and play nicely with me, even though I was a girl. Even better, our mothers started to become very close friends since Chris and I had dates at each other's homes, so our lives became intertwined. Still, his entire family is very special to me. His mother became like a second mother to me. Although things aren't like the old days anymore, we usually still make time during our busy schedules and get together about once every year or two years. I can still remember how he was a very fragile child. He had many allergies, so he was always sent to the hospital. I remember worrying sick one time when he was sent to the ER by ambulance when he had an allergic reaction to soybean. Moreover, I remember he was always extremely talented in math class, whereas I was really into art. We could balance each other in that way. Actually, we balanced each other in many ways. I felt that he was always a bit feminine, where I was masculine. I was strong and nearly never ill while he was so delicate. I think this is what makes a good friendship. Absolutely. I think it would be impossible to do in this day and age. We coordinate all meetups by WhatsApp, SMS, or Facebook Messenger. Moreover, I've even met friends online through different Facebook pages. I'm not into talking on the phone, so I really prefer this mean of communication. If it weren't for these apps, I may be a lot more antisocial than I am. I think the fear of strangers on the internet is lessening a lot nowadays. It certainly can. As I said, I've even met friends through Facebook pages. I think it allows you to reach a wider spectrum of people. Nowadays, it isn't as common to come across new friends in public spaces. Since many people are beginning to work online, it also creates a challenge for meeting friends. The social media allows people to advertise social events which bring people together. Absolutely. I think it's critical to learn how to be a good friend from a young age. I believe that humans need friendship to survive, like almost all species. So a child is bound to be happier when they are surrounded by friends from a young age. Moreover, it teaches them how to share, open themselves to others, support someone, and simply have more fun. I think life will be very lonely without friends. I think friends definitely make a child's life better in various ways. For one, the child must feel a lot happier and have more fun with friends by their side. Moreover, the kid is reminded that they aren't alone in this world and have someone who is an outlet for them, which definitely makes them feel comforted. Secondly, through friends, they learn how to have interpersonal relationships and treat and relate to people outside of their family. Lastly especially if the boy or girl is an only child. They may not have much experience sharing and they may feel as if they are the center of the universe. Friends are critical for life. I would say yes, 100%. Children are very impressionable, so they tend to morph into the people they spend the majority of their time with. If a friend has a good habit, I'm sure that the other friend will soak it in and begin to act in a similar way. On the contrary, when a friend has a bad habit, like smoking or cursing, their social circle is affected by this and begin to pick up their habits. I've noticed that children start talking, walking, and dressing like their friends. Because of this, I think it's important for the parent to teach the child to be a leader rather than a follower. 
Okay, so here the topic is a person. People are <clears throat> one of the five categories of questions that you can get in uh, part two of the test. Here's the cue card. For some reason, there are only three cues. I don't know why. I fixed the grammar in the cues, but there are only three cues. There, in the real test, there are always going to be four cues. Not sure why we've got three here. Let's see what she says. I'm going to tell you about my best friend, Chris. Well, actually, we aren't in close contact anymore, but he still means a lot to me. We were in the same kindergarten class, so we first hit it off. All right, just this phrase here, to hit it off, that's good. It means to get along well, but it should be, we hit it off from the beginning, or we hit it off at first. Not we first hit it off. He said, if you say we first hit it off, it sounds like in the beginning we got along well, but maybe later something changed and we started arguing or we had a falling out. Then. And there's this awkward thing here. Let me play the whole thing. It's kind of like she's misreading what she's trying first to say. First hit it off. Then. <laughs> we first hit it off. Then. Then what? As soon as I walked into the classroom nervously on the first day, I felt drawn to him. He invited me to, s to sit next to him and complimented me on my 100 Dalmatians backpack. I don't know. She sounds tired. <laughs> Something's wrong. Maybe she's in a bad mood. But her voice is extremely flat here. Since that initial moment, we sat together in that learning circle every day. We soon started having regular play dates. He would always share his toys with me and play nicely with me, even though I was a girl. Even better, our mothers started to become very close friends since Chris and I had dates at each other's homes, so our lives became intertwined. Still, his entire family is very special to me. I'm a little bit curious about this still. Uh... Does she mean that until this day, his family is very special to her? Or is this still used to show contrast? I'm not exactly sure what the purpose of the still is. He's very special to me. His mother became like a second mother to me. Although things aren't like the old days anymore, we usually still make time during our busy schedules and get together about once every year or two years. I can still remember how he was a very fragile child. He had many allergies, so he was always sent to the hospital. I remember worrying sick one time when he was sent to the ER by ambulance when he had an allergic reaction to soybean. Okay, just hang on. It's not I remember worrying sick. It's I remember being worried sick. You are worried sick. You don't worry sick worrying sick one time when he was sent to the ER by ambulance when he had an allergic reaction to soybean. Moreover, I remember he was always extremely talented in math class, whereas I was really into art. We could balance each other in that way. Actually, we balanced each other in many ways. I felt that he was always a bit feminine, where I was masculine. I was strong and nearly never ill while he was so delicate. I think this is what makes a good friendship. Okay, if I look at the length, <clears throat> it seems to be about a minute and 50 seconds. So, lengthwise, it's not bad. Okay, let's have a look at the part three questions. Now, I have a problem with this question. Do you use technology to communicate with friends? Part three is not personal. They're never going to ask you questions about yourself. So this question is actually an example of a part one question, not a part three question. So they put this in the wrong place. Absolutely. I think it would be impossible to do in this day and age. We coordinate all meetups by WhatsApp, SMS, or Facebook Messenger. Now wait a second. Do you use technology to communicate with friends? 
Absolutely, I think it would be impossible to do in this day and age. Well, that doesn't make any sense. Because she says yes, but then she says she thinks it will be impossible. Unless she means it's impossible not to do. So that's a little bit confusing. Facebook Messenger. Moreover, I've even met friends online through different Facebook pages. I'm not into talking on the phone, so I really prefer this mean of communication. I really prefer this means of communication, not mean of communication. If it weren't for these apps, I may be a lot more antisocial than I am. I think the fear of strangers on the internet is lessening a lot nowadays. Hang on a second. She talks about communicating online not being very antisocial and then she talks about the fear of strangers but this last idea is kind of introduced out of nowhere because nothing else she said was tied to a fear of strangers so i don't know be careful introducing new ideas right at the end that are not clearly connected to anything else you've said all right next question does social media help to build your relationships Again, you are not going to find any questions in part three that specifically refer to you. Unless they ask you, what do you think about some subject or some topic? But they're not going to specifically ask you about your relationship. This, again, looks more like a part one question than a part three question. It certainly can. As I said... I've even met friends through Facebook pages. For Facebook pages? Surely from Facebook pages. I think it allows, 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 allows you to reach a wider spectrum of people. Nowadays, it isn't as common to come across new friends in public spaces. Since many people are beginning to work online, it also creates a challenge for meeting friends. The social media allows people to advertise social events which bring people together. build your relationships but just one thing um you're not judged on your ideas you're judged on how you express your ideas <clears throat> but since many people are beginning to work online is that really true I mean this trend has been going on for such a long time now this is not a new trend so factually it might not be true to say that people are beginning to work online this has been happening for ages all right next question is it important for kids to have friends absolutely i think it's critical to learn how to be a good friend from a young age i believe that humans need friendship to survive like almost all species so a child is bound to be happier when they are surrounded by friends from a young age Moreover, it teaches them how to share, open themselves to others, support someone, and simply have more fun. I think life will be very lonely without friends. Alright, uh, let's just have a look at her intonation here. It's a little bit muted, but you can still make it out. Like she says here, it teaches them how to share, and there's a slight rise in her intonation. Open themselves to others, again a slight rise support someone what does it say what support someone and simply have more fun so when you're giving ideas and you're not finished yet your voice will rise with each, each item that you list next question what effects do friends have on children oh by the way um they never mentioned what the topics are, so I don't know what the topics are. I just have these questions here. But if I look at them, the first two questions just had to do with relationships, I guess. And now we're moving on to children. So I guess the topic, let's see this one. Oh, this one is also children. 
All right, so I guess the second topic in this part three is uh, children and relationships. I think friends definitely make a child's life better in various ways. For one, the child must feel a lot happier and have more fun with friends by their side. Moreover, the kid is reminded that they aren't alone in this world and have someone who is an outlet for them, which definitely makes them feel comforted. Secondly, through friends, they learn how to have interpersonal relationships and treat and relate to people outside of their family. Lastly, especially if the boy or girl is an only child, they may not have much experience sharing and they may feel as if they are the center of the universe. Friends are critical for life. Okay. There's a bit of stress there. Um, I wish we could see more connected speech coming from her. But I guess because she's reading, we don't really see anything like that. Uh, let me just say... Um, okay, so here, for example, the kid is reminded that they aren't alone in this world. Uh, a lot of people shy away from using the pronoun they when talking about a single person. But if you don't know the gender, it's better to say they than to say he or she. It just sounds smoother if you say they. So if you don't know the gender of someone, say they. It doesn't mean that you're referring to two people. It still means that you refer to one person, but just regardless of the gender. And then the last question, are children easily influenced by friends? I would say yes, 100%. Children are very impressionable, so they tend to morph into the people they spend the majority of their time with. If a friend has a good habit, I'm sure that the other friend will soak it in and begin to act in a similar way. Uh, just hang on a second. Uh, let's see. The other friend. Remember, if you use the article the, you're talking about a specific object, or in this case, a specific person. So why the? This friend hasn't been specified before. So instead of saying, I'm sure that the other friend, inst instead of that, say, I'm sure that other friends will soak up, or I'm sure that their other friends will. But leave out the the, because you haven't specified who these friends are, so we don't need that article there. And begin to act in a similar way. On the contrary, when a friend has a bad habit, like smoking or cursing, their social circle is affected by this and begin to pick up their habits. I've noticed that children start talking, walking, and dressing like their friends. So you have it again, talking, walking, dressing like their friends. The dressing like the friends actually doesn't rise because that's the last item. On the last item you mentioned, your voice should fall. Because of this, I think it's important for the parent to teach the child to be a leader rather than a follower. All right, so that's that.